All right, everybody. Today we are going to talk about this magnificent hunk of PCBs and components that is called the Zero Phone. It has an entire Raspberry Pi Zero W inside, and you can program it to be whatever you want. This is the most cyberpunk thing I have ever touched. It's so cyberpunk. Look at this thing. It runs on two giant 18650 batteries and you can own it. It can be yours to tinker with for $50 on Crowd Supply. Check this out. Zero phone. It's by this person Arsenis, whom I met at Supercon. And it is an open source Linux powered $50 smartphone with no carrier locks, no bloated apps. We'll come back to that. Or data mining, and it doesn't depend on big companies. Um, it's designed in KiCad, as you can see. You could also use different batteries if you want. Uh, this, this image here shows actually a smaller lithium polymer battery uh, inside of there. But the one that I have in my hand here has a much larger uh, battery pack attached to that same JST connector. So if you wanted to have something for all day usage, uh, there you go. Uh, or you could just have a little uh, rechargeable LiPo and like tuck it in this little slot here right next to the huge haptic feedback motor. There's a built-in audio jack, a speaker, you've got your mic down here as expected, and uh, it mentions that it's designed in KiCad somewhere up here. There we go. And also you've got the little hacker symbol over here, which makes it so much more legit. Um, oh yeah, I've still got this plugged in, but it doesn't need to be. <laughs> I was just charging it because I forgot to do that earlier. Um, you've got all these expansion ports. You can see the Pi Zero W in there, uh, complete with its connector where you can plug in a camera. And this is where you plug in your SIM card. And the antenna kind of wraps around here. Let's take a look at the features. So if I push this, it'll wake up and I can choose one of the available options. I'm gonna choose the snake game. These are very much not bloated apps. Look at this snake game, it's amazing. <laughs> it's also the only snake game I've ever been able to do well on because it's so slow. But you can adjust the difficulty for that, you know. Hehehehehe. <laughs> Let's exit that. You have system options, uh, like sh shut down and reboot. Also, other things such as you can draw using the drawing app. There is no image saving implemented yet, but you can move your little cursor guy and draw stuff with it. You can even draw lines. or polygons. This is so magical. Oh, it's so cyberpunk, it hurts. Mm. There's also a button down here that you can use to access a menu with things like shut down and reboot and whatever. And turn the flashlight on. Whoa! This is like an RGB LED back here. Turn it off again. This is incredible. This is an incredible piece of phone technology and it's completely open source. As again, the page says, I'm really stoked to play with this thing. Uh, you can of course plug it into, you know, an HDMI monitor and uh, keyboard and mouse and do whatever you want with it. Um, Arsenis, the creator, gave me a bunch of extra buttons and stuff so that I can mess around with it and fix anything that happens to break maybe because this is kind of a demo model. Um, 2G GSM connectivity, 3G coming soon. You could always add an IR receiver, a transmitter, a camera, etc. And it gives you root access. You can SSH into your phone and create the phone of your dreams.
If this is a little intense for you, I kind of understand. And there's another phone on the market that you might be interested in checking out. It's called the Maker Phone. It's on Kickstarter and it's currently almost 17 times funded, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, this one will run you $94 to $99, depending on whether or not you want it to be pre-assembled. And it comes in a special pretty box. It's from the same team that created the Maker Buino, which I guess is Boy... Game Boy... Maker Game Boy Duino? Maker Game Boy Arduino? Something like that, but it has a color screen. You can program it in Python or Scratch. You can do MP3 playback, and it has a real-time clock. You can get the 2G or 4G version, depending on what you need. In fact, you can even get both of them, uh, as you see in the perks on the side here. It's also pretty large. It looks pretty sharp. It does cost more, and it doesn't have quite as much computing power. So depending on what you're going for, uh, either sign up for the Zero Phone, an unimpeachable cyberpunk aesthetic, or go for the Maker Phone. Stick with MicroPython, a version of Python that's optimized to run on Arduino and other microcontrollers. Or better yet, get a Maker Phone for your kid and a Zero Phone for yourself. You grown-up hacker, you. Just a passing mention, we talked about the Tilda MK4 badge from EMF Camp this year. It was really fun to play with, and this is also a fully functioning telephone. This was the badge from Electromagnetic Field, a British hacker camp. This is definitely a, an emerging trend along with the new one of putting entire computers on con badges. Where will the hype end? Where will peak badge be? Who knows, but it's fun for now. Anyway, go check out the Maker Phone. You've got two weeks left to go on this one and sign up for updates on the Zero Phone on Crowd Supply. Have an awesome Fundum Friday and we will see you soon.